as for me in justice, I shall behold your face. I shall be filled with the vision of your glory. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As for me in justice, I shall behold your face. I shall be filled with the vision of your glory. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. Well, welcome home. Welcome you to our first uh, public mass. Oh, since I think it's the 15th of March. It's been four months. And uh, we're celebrating today the 15th Sunday in ordinary time. And we're offering this mass for the good estate of Marion Zane. Uh, we'd like to also welcome not just all of you who have gathered in the church, but we'll also welcome those who are joining us via uh, Facebook Live. Um, celebrating Mass to a camera for four months has been quite a new experience. Uh, I think the camera is going to stay with us for some time. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father, Amen. Let us pray. O God, who show the light of your truth to those who go astray, so that they may return to the right path, give all who for the faith they profess are accounted Christians the grace to reject whatever is contrary to the name of Christ and to strive after all that does it honour. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, for ever and ever. Amen. A reading from the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord, as the rain and the snow come down from the heavens and do not return without watering the earth, making it yield and giving growth to provide seed for the sower 
and bread for the eating. So the word that goes from my mouth does not return to me empty, without carrying out my will and succeeding in what it was sent to do. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Some seed fell into rich soil and produced its crop. Some seed fell into rich soil and produced its crop. You care for the earth, give it water. You fill it with riches. Your river in heaven brims over to provide its grain. Some seed fell into rich soil and produced its crop. And thus you provide for the earth, you drench its furrows, you level it, soften it with showers, you bless its growth. Some seed fell into rich soil and produced its crop. You crown the year with your goodness, abundance flows in your steps, in the pastures of the wilderness it flows. Some seed fell into rich soil and produced its crop. The hills are girded with joy, the meadows covered with flocks, the valleys are decked with wheat, they shout for joy, yes, they sing. Some seed fell into rich soil and produced its crop. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. I think that what we suffer in this life can never be compared to the glory as yet unrevealed, which is waiting for us. The whole creation is eagerly waiting for God to reveal his sons. It was not for any fault on the part of creation that it was made unable to attain its purpose. It was made so by God. But creation still retains the hope of being freed, like us, from its slavery to decadence, to enjoy the same freedom and glory as the children of God. From the beginning till now, the entire creation, as we know, has been groaning in one great act of giving birth. And not only creation, but all of us who possess the first fruit of the Spirit. We too grow inwardly as we await for our bodies to be set free. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus left the house and sat by the lakeside, but such crowds gathered round him that he got into a boat and sat there. The people all stood on the beach, and he told them many things in parables. He said, Imagine a sower going out to sow. As he sowed, some seeds fell on the edge of the path, and the birds came and ate them up. Others fell on patches of rock where they found little soil and sprang up straight away because there was no depth of earth. But as soon as the sun came up, they were scorched, and not having any roots, they withered away. Others fell among thorns, and the thorns grew up and choked them. Others fell on rich soil and produced their crop, some a hundredfold, some sixty, some thirty. Listen, anyone who has ears. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ.
most certainly this period of lockdown has been a desert experience. And even in our fast from the Mass and the sacraments, we have found at times an oasis of fresh water that is God's grace refreshing us. We are now emerging from the desert and we are moving towards greener pastures. But we are not yet in the lush grass of the savannah, but we are on the edge where the aridness of the landscape is still a reality. Indeed, many people are not yet able to return to Mass, and we should be aware of them. We should not be motoring ahead, leaving anyone behind. As I said at the beginning, the reality of the camera uh, is going to be with us for some time, maybe forever, as people have got accustomed, perhaps as housebound, to being reacquainted with the Mass. That's a good thing. That's a real blessing. Our prayers are united here and at home. We are all offering the same Eucharist. And it was very appropriate that we ended our fast yesterday with an opportunity for people to receive the Sacrament of Reconciliation, to come to confession, so that our souls are not overwhelmed in receiving the fullness of the Eucharist again. The word is fulfilled when it is put into practice, and although time will come when we will resume many of the roles that we used to have in the parish, for now the focus is on a ministry of hospitality. And we're still going to be looking for more and more parishioners, especially those who are under 70 and do not have health conditions either individually or in their household to act as volunteer stewards. Uh, we've done very well here at St Mary Magdalene putting on sessions and uh, this weekend we've just agreed an 11 o'clock Mass for next Sunday. So we've managed to take a real step forward. So maybe it's time to tentatively look at what provision we're going to have at the other end, at St Martha's in Little Common. But it will be slow, gradual, sustainable steps. Now is the time for a renewed spirit of service of God, his church, and his holy people. Our mission may be tiny and humble, but if we feed and water our service through prayer, we will experience steady growth and its influence will reach far and wide. And God willing, it will lead to the salvation of souls, because that is what it is all about. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary, and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day, in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. 
he will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God, of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Look upon the offerings of the Church, O Lord, as she makes her prayer to you, and grant that, when consumed by those who believe, they may bring ever greater holiness through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord, for by his birth he brought renewal to humanity's fallen state, and by his suffering cancelled out our sins. By his rising from the dead, he has opened the way to eternal life, and by ascending to you, O Father, he has unlocked the gates of heaven. And so, with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise, as without end we acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord God of hosts, Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. If you don't have a kneeler, please feel free to be seated. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, 
so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church, and recognising the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make all wills and eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, and with all the saints, on whose condemnation in your presence we rely for unfailing hell. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world, be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth, with your servant, Francis R. Pope and Richard R. Bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen gratefully to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compulsion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom, there we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours, for ever and ever. Amen. At the Saviour's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, 
that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign for ever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. So as we now come to the rite of Holy Communion, as uh, I and Father Rajesh receive Holy Communion, you are all invited to firstly make a spiritual communion and also to make your personal act of thanksgiving. Then we will purify the vessels in front of us. And then, if you, then we'll give the final prayer and the final blessing. And then if you're not receiving Holy Communion, you'll be able to depart. If you are receiving Holy Communion, you'll be able to come forward. Uh, we'll, you, you, we won't be saying the body of Christ to you individually. It'll just be one, the body of Christ to the, the whole group. And then we will ask you to receive Holy Communion on the hand. If you really have a difficulty with that, please speak to one of the priests after Mass and we will see how we can accommodate you safely and without putting anyone at risk. As you leave the church, if you're unable to use the internet options, you may make you leave your offering in the box by St. Anthony. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. Having consumed these gifts, we pray, O Lord, that by our participation in this mystery, its saving effects upon us may grow. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Uh, the next Mass I'm celebrating 
is a live stream on Facebook only on Monday, and then the next public mass is at 9.45 a.m. on Tuesday morning. Again, there's a capacity of 55 people, and the stewards will assist you. Please keep up to date by reading the parish newsletter online and also the parish Facebook page. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. So if you're not receiving Holy Communion, uh, we'll invite you now to depart the church. Otherwise, the stewards will direct you and you will be receiving on each end of the benches there, not in the middle. That's it. To maintain social distance. Basically, think of an altar rail. The body of Christ. 